Hello, this is Creative Fox, and today I want to talk to you about the Immer Sun solar panel diverter, which diverts energy from the solar panels to your water boiler. My one's about seven, eight years old, and it went bang. And so I repaired it at length, and I discovered a few things along the way, which I'm going to share with you. One of the things is that there is a component in there that has a shelf life, so this will probably affect most Emerson solar panel diverters. Just one note of caution before we go on to the video, and that is I hope that you are a fully qualified engineer, so I take no responsibility for any uh, meddling about that you might do with your own equipment uh, that day. okay so with that over and done with let's uh, let's carry on and see how we can repair this this thing so the first thing to do then is switch off at the mains okay so i've got this on the bench and i open the thing up and we see a disaster inside all bits and pieces exploded all over the place this was a mystery component. So I couldn't do anything else until I found out what this thing was. I was puzzling over the visible marks on the component that shattered all over the place. And there's a few letters there which I was able to find. Was it a snubber circuit in one package? Could I replicate it? How do I calculate the values of R and C? What is the extra redundant leg? Well, I found a clue on the actual PCB, V1. Now, V is usually a varistor. So this is a varistor or varistor with an extra leg, which is not used. Now, this is where I discovered that varistors have a shelf life where the innards actually deteriorate over a period of time. Eventually, they just give up and go bang. So this is what happened to mine then. I've had it for about seven years, and I suppose it just gave up the ghost. And of course, it took the triac with it. So this is what we're looking for, a 270 volt varistor, 20 millimeters, cost me 10 pound on eBay. And a new triac to go in, a BTA41-800B. So there you have it then, that's the uh, two components change, that's the old bits and pieces. Uh, the third leg on the Thyristor is just an internal connection that as far as I can see is not used so don't worry about it. After having switched the thing on it did a self test and then I had to set the clock, I saved you the boredom of doing that and it starts its normal daytime routine. The voltage measurements uh, on my meter were taken straight from the immersion heater and it measures, I suppose, the pulse switch modulation into the element to warm up the water. And as you notice, as the sun comes out, the voltage goes up. I've had it going for several months now and I'm very pleased to say that the exercise saved me £500.
even an equivalent unit is 300 odd so a massive saving there just for the sake of a, a 10, 10 quid component so I hope this helps you too. Okay, bye.